when we talk about the future, we talk about numbers, we talk about politics, we talk about technology, but we rarely talk about the beauty of a sustainable world, right? And I think we should use, as architects, we should use the power of beauty more to help people to accept change, right? That, that's, that's the beauty of beauty. You see something, you don't really understand it, but you want to you wanna feel connected with it. Um, and so, you know, showing the beauty of clean air or clean energy or clean space, or right now, as we're doing with seeing stars, where we're on a city scale, switching off city lights to reveal a light that has been there for millions of years, right? Uh, but we just got disconnected from it because of industrial revolution, because the brutal uh, way we have been treating our own lights. So I think it's, it's, it's about trying to find a new connection between yourself, the world around you, and, and the people around you. And light is a really beautiful activator in that. We live in a world that feels so isolated, so disconnected, right? Especially in the last two or three years during pandemic. And so one night in a car, I realized that we have this amazing light performance in our sky, right? The stars, but we don't see them anymore in the cities because of light pollution. And so an almost boyish idea started to kick in. What if for one night we would switch off all the city lights to see the stars again, to bring back the stars um, into our daily life? Uh, Mayor of Franeker, a city in Friesland, said yes. Uh, UNESCO joined uh, as they signed a treaty. I remember that in 2007, 2008, that everybody has a right to see the stars, right? So the, the seeing the stars as universal heritage. And I'm really excited because last week, the mayor of Leiden, which is a 10 times bigger city than the one uh, we did before, which is also European city of science this year, um, called and said they also want to do it. So, yeah, I, and it's interesting here. My role as designer, as architect, is not to design, right? Because I didn't design the stars, right? <laughs> they have been there for millions of years. But it's about removing what we've been adding and it's about revealing. And uh, it's very emotional. You know, people get really emotional. You know, when you look at the, um, at the history of design, we've always been living in a time of abundance, right? And there, there, there's so much of everything. And, and we've, you know, it's a, we've sort of hinted at sustainable doing less, but now it's really started to kick in with the lack of resources, the lack of transportation, etc. And so how can we sort of give a new experience to less? Eh? <laughs> Removing streetlights, saving energy. And I am really a big believer, and especially light is a great tool, in creative collective experiences. Um, uh, seeing stars is about that as a city, uh, as a citizens together as a community bringing back the stars spark that we just launched last week uh, biodegradable fireworks and eh? traditional fireworks increase of 10 times of air pollution eh? so it's sort of a happy new year here's a cloud of polluted air you know like you know, I, I think you know in 10 years we'll, we'll look back at that and say hmm, maybe that's not you know really what we wanted to achieve there and um so you know i'm not religious at all but the catholic church uh for one, really understood that really well. You know, there was a space, there was light, there was a language you didn't understand, Latin. The walls told their story yeah, with the stainless glass and the, the sounds. And so I'm, I'm really interested how light and architecture can create collective experiences to help people to accept change and to not be scared of the future, uh, but curious. Uh, Waterlicht, yeah, our, our blue uh, flood, uh, will be exhibit uh, March, 25th and March 26th uh, in the Netherlands at the Louvestein Castle, a UNESCO World Heritage. Beautiful. That area is under threat uh, because of, you know, change in climate and rising sea level. And uh, uh, it's uh, open for public, no ticket needed. Um, a bit scary, but also very beautiful.